Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video. I am very excited for today's video. Today I will be sharing with you all the books that I purchased um, in the month of October. I don't even know what month we're in anymore. Um, but in the month of October, as you can see, these are my stacks right here, two stacks of the same height. They are not standing on anything. These are just, just a lot. Um, and it was actually really hard to put this haul together, seeing as I didn't do a haul for September. Um, so I think these are all the books that I purchased, purchased this month. I could be wrong. Uh, but <laughs> other than that, let's just go ahead and get into it, show you all the books that I have here. I'm going to try to keep the synopses of these pretty short. I do have a lot of books to talk about, and some of them I don't know the synopsis of, so we're just gonna, we're gonna power through. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, up first, we are going to start with the fourth book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This is a series about um, vampires who are part of a Black Dagger Brotherhood. Um, it, the Brotherhood is tasked with um, keeping their, their species safe as well as um, just trying to keep their species as a whole um, intact because they are close to going extinct. And um, each different book follows a different perspective of the characters of the Black Dagger Brotherhood and their love stories. It's very adult. It's very smutty. It's a good time. I have read three of the 18, 19 books in this series and this is the fourth one. Really enjoying them so far and can't wait to continue. Okay, the next book that we have here I picked up on a whim. This is um, a book by Victoria Alexander. I believe this is a historical romance that has a little bit of mystery and intrigue wrapped along in it. Um, it's called My Wicked Little Lies. Um, this book was going to get donated at the store so I decided to pick it up. Um, it has a smut tab and you gotta love a good smut tab so pick this up i'm slowly getting over my aversion to mass, mass market paperbacks because a lot of the smutty books that i find in the store are mass markets so i ended up taking them home but regardless this is another one that i picked up all right and then i found a freaking steal somebody at my job dropped off a um very large box set of um the whole all of the books in the dark artifices series so we have lady midnight lord of shadows and queen of air and darkness um i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it in this box just yet i haven't really decided i've been keeping it on display on one of my bookshelves but i think i might run out of room to display it so i might have to find a home for them sooner or later but um yes i don't know too much about what this particular series is about i know that these are a cassie claire book which means it's shadow hunters um individuals that are immortal i believe and they fight demons i think they're immortal i've only read um part of the mortal instruments and one book in the infernal devices series and it's been quite a while um so <laughs> i need to brush back up on this but i'm really excited to complete all of cassie's books just there's a lot of them and i haven't quite got around to it all right the next book i have here is the black kids by christina Hamonos read um i don't know too much about this i know that it's set in the 90s um i know that it has a beautiful black man character on the front and i decided to pick it up that's really all i needed to justify my purchase. <laughs> All right, and then I picked up, I believe this is a middle grade book. This is A Mall Unbound. This is by um, Aishaya, Aishaya, Saeed. I probably butchered that, but I don't really know what this is about. I heard somebody um, on BookTube talking about it. I loved the cover, and so I decided that I would give it a try. It's definitely a shorter book, um, but yes, it definitely is middle grade. It's about a 12 year old, um, and I've heard just really good things. I'm hoping that I like it. I'll get to, around to it at some point, just who knows when. Another middle grade I have here, um, The City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, V.E. Schwab, however you know about her. Um, this is her, I think this is her only middle grade series. I could be wrong about that, but I think there's two books in this series so far. I've heard really good things about it so far. I don't really know what this is about. I know it has to do with a ghost. There's a cat on the cover, which is awesome. Um, that's it. <laughs> All right, and then we have an Owl Crate special edition book, and that is The Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. A Deadly Education, sorry. Um, this is the Owl Crate exclusive edition. I did um, unbox this or show it off in a vlog. I will leave that in the cards above, so feel free to check that out. But this one has no dust jacket, um, a very bright spine, and some gold gilded edges. But I'm really excited for this. I've heard really, really good things about this book so far. I know it has to do with lots of monsters and magic. It is Dark Academia. Um, and I've just heard really, really good things. I'm really hoping to get to this soon. Um, this is like definitely on my high priority shelf. So hopefully, cross our fingers. <laughs> All right, and then we have a Nicholas Sparks book. It's called See Me. I have zero idea of what this is about, but um, most of the time when 
uh, Nicholas Sparks books are going to get donated at my store. I decided to take them home. Not that I really need them, but so far I've read two Nicholas Sparks books and really enjoy it. I've watched several of his movies and enjoyed those, so um, I will read them all eventually, but they're not like high priority. When I get around to them, I get around to them. Okay, now we have another series, and um, that is the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I have wanted to read this series for quite a while, but I've never really liked the covers of the books, so I never picked them up. But I saw this set and with the gorgeous spines, and I just couldn't pass it up. So we have the first book, The Maze Runner. The second book, The Scorch Trials. The third, The Death Cure. Fourth, The Kill Order. And last, The Fever Code. Um, I've heard really good things about this series. I did watch... I think two out of the three movies that they did with, um, why can't I think of his name? He's so cute. Um, Dylan O'Brien. That's his name. Dylan O'Brien. <laughs> and I really enjoyed the movies, so I'm really hoping that the series is just as good. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping to do a 24-hour readathon with those books, so we'll see. All right, then we have a YA fantasy that I have zero idea what this is about. Um, Set Fire to the Gods. One of my friends, Sharon, um, stopped by the bookstore the other day and dropped off a couple of copies that she had multiple copies of for me to take home, and this was one of them. I don't know anything about this. I love the cover. It looks very um, interesting, atmospheric, uh, intrigue. I see intrigue in this, and I love that it looks like we have some colored characters on the front. So really hoping to read more into this and get to it soon. Um, I haven't heard anything about this though, so if you have read this, please let me know what you thought. All right, and then I picked up a book written by the authors of one of my favorite books of the year, and that is Five Feet Apart. And this book, their new book, is um, All This Time. Uh, I walked by it in a store and I was like, wait a minute, that looks a lot like Five Feet Apart. And if you guys haven't seen this cover, they look very similar. They also have um, similar spines. So I was like, uh, well, I need this. So um, I picked this up. This is about a couple who are deemed the perfect couple and they are so madly in love. Everything is going great until they get in a car accident and the girl dies. And um, this guy, I believe his name is Kyle. Yes, Kyle is really just trying to figure out what to do with his life after the after her passing and trying to pick up the pieces. It sounds very good, very hard hitting, and I'm hoping that I love it just as much as Five Feet Apart. All right, and then a book that I'll be buddy reading this month is Unbirthday. This is by Liz Braswell. This is the um, Alice in Wonderland book in the Twisted Tale series, and the twist on this book is what if Wonderland was in peril and Alice was very, very late. Um, I have so far en enjoyed two of the um, Twisted Tale books so far. I read the Mulan one as well as the um, Beauty and the Beast one. Really enjoyed it, so I have high hopes for this. I believe Liz Braswell also wrote the Beauty and the Beast one, and I really enjoyed the writing style in that, so I have high hopes for this, but um, we'll have to see. All right, a book that... I only bought because Jessie May and her Shelf Space book club made me do it. I actually didn't look into their um, thoughts of this particular book. I heard it was very polarizing, either people loved it or didn't, but I decided that I would give it a try. Um, and that is Rage of Dragons by uh, Evan Winters. I don't know what this is about. I know it has to do with dragons. I know that it is high adult fantasy, and that's all I know. And I'm terrified of this, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone, broaden my horizons, and um, you know, I have faith in myself. I can do it. <laughs> All right, and then a highly anticipated book, a book that I'm so, so excited that I have, and that is Holopox by Jessica Townsend, the third book in the Trials of Morgan Crow series. I absolutely adore, adore this series. I just re recently finished the second book in the series called Wondersmith. No, Wondersmith? Wondersmith? Wondersmith. Yeah, I think. It's never more Wondersmith than Holopox. And I love it. 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 Um, I will be reading this this month, so I'm really excited that I have this on my TBR, um, and I just cannot wait. If you don't know what Nevermore is about, it is about a girl named Morgan Crow who is a cursed child, and she is um, destined to die on the eve of her 11th birthday. On her birthday, they are, there's a thing called the Bidding Day, and she ends up getting bid on by a guy named Jupiter North, and she is whisked away to this town called Nevermore, where she's put in a competition to um, earn a place in, a, in this school called the Wonder Society. And everybody in the Wonder Society has a knack. However, Morgan does not know what hers is. So it's a very much of a coming of age story, a fun, fantastical middle grade that I think everybody should read. I cannot stop recommending this. Please, if you haven't picked this series up, please do it. All right, speaking of new releases, I have the one, the only, the most talked about book at the moment, and that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Um, this is the book of the month version. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that I meant to cancel my subscription. Didn't cancel it in time, had some credits pick this up. I did officially cancel my subscription with them. However, I just wanted to let you know, being transparent with you guys, it happened. We're going to move past it. Um, but I did pick up the original version because 
um i wanted the original version i also have spoiler alert if you guys don't want to see what the um exclusive edition from alf crate looks like just yet skip past this but i do have that one as well and it looks like this this is the um alf crate exclusive edition with no dust jacket and a very gorgeous spine as well as very beautiful detailing on the back really excited to read this i also have a third edition of this book coming in soon it didn't come in time for this haul but um yes i now own three copies of this book don't ask me why it happened <laughs> all right and then i picked up a ya contemporary i think um this is called the list it's by shaban vivian oh, i hope i said that right um and apparently in this school, people get put on a list, either it you're at the top of the list being deemed the prettiest or you're at the bottom of the list being deemed the ugliest. And this list just creates a lot of complications for the main character and it's her cup trying to overcome those complications and the ridicule that she's receiving from this list. So um, I read the synopsis when I was at work one day and I was like, mm, it sounds good, I'll try it. So now I own it. <laughs> okay, and then I picked up I'll Give You the Sun. This is by Jandy Nelson. Um, I've heard really good things about this book. Um, I know that it deals with twins who at the beginning of the book are super close, inseparable, um, like basically tied to, the, tied to the hip together. And then you um, flash forward to a different timeline where they are now um, no longer speaking to each other and you're really trying to figure out what's going on within the story, what caused them to have such a falling out. And I've heard this is really hard hitting, really wonderful, the glare, <laughs> you can't even see the <laughs> thing, but um, I just heard really good things. And I'm hoping that it gives me all the feels that I want to feel. <laughs> all right, and then I have an arc. This is um, Each of Us a Desert by Mark Oshiro. Um, I don't know too much about this. I know that it has to do with a desert and I know it's a fantasy. Um, this just says, set against a desert landscape haunted by visible nightmares. Each of us, a desert, follows two teenagers um, as they navigate the choppy awakening of love, loss, identity, and learning to find light inside of them, even in the darkest of times. So it sounds good. It was a pr it was an arc. I, we can't sell them at the store, so I decided to take it home. Okay, so one of my customers came into the store and we were talking about what this particular author's um, book that we had both read, well, I halfway read it and enjoyed. Um, and so she set this aside just for me so I could take it home and that is The Mothers by Britt Bennett. Um, I did read half of The Banishing Half and enjoyed it. Ended up putting it down for no reason at all and haven't picked it up since. So really need to get her back around to reading that, but in due time, in due time. Um, this... I have no idea what this is about. Um, she was just saying that it was so good that I had to read it. Um, if it's anything like her writing style in um, Vanishing Half, I know I'm going to love it. I just need to find time to get around to it. All right, and then I picked up a very well-known book in the booktube community, and that is Sorcery of Thor Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Um, I have no idea what this book is about. I have not read the synopsis. I picked it up um, because I saw it at the store used and um, it was a hardcover. I have heard good things. I've heard mixed reviews on this but I have heard good things and so I wanted to give it a try hoping that I like it. Mm, don't know when I'm gonna get to it. It's not high on my priority shelf but someday, sometime, I don't know. <laughs> then I picked up a Colleen Hoover. Um, I felt like as many people that talk about this it pretty much means I, means I need to read it, and that is This Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I've heard this is very emotional, very hard-hitting, one of her best, and I really, really want to read this. I also own Verity by her and haven't had a chance to read it, but I feel like those are very two different genres of her writing, and um, definitely I think I want to start with this one and then read Verity, but um, regardless, I've heard really good things and can't wait to read this. All right, another book that Sharon had brought over to me, and that is The Villain Shard's Daughter by Andrea Stewart. Um, I don't know too much about this. I know that it is, um, queer. Uh, that's pretty much all I know. It's the first in a series, um, a fantasy series. It's blurbed by Sarah J. Mass. so <laughs> it says, one of the best fantasy novels I've read in a long time, Sarah J. Mass. Uh, okay, well, so now I have to read it. <laughs> then I picked up a bookish book, and that is The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Ali Waxman, and I believe this follows a girl who has, um, like, <clears throat> severe um, social anxiety and when her father passes away she is kind of um, forced into meeting his side of the family and getting more um, information about them but that also means talking to people and stepping outside of her comfort zone and it's really about her it deals with books it sounds like a lot of fun it sounds like it's going to be a nice warm contemporary that'll be fun to read okay so if you haven't seen my owl crate 
um, October unboxing and you don't want to be spoiled for what the book is, feel free to go check out the, that unboxing here. But um, the book that was in October's Owl Crate was Legendborn by um, Tracy De Dean. Um, and this sounds really good. I've heard really good things about this so far. Um, every review that I've heard so far of people talking about this, they have absolutely loved it. So I'm really, really excited for this. This follows a girl named Brie. Um, her mom died at 16 um, in a car accident and she ends up going to this school. On the first day there, she finds out that is magical and somebody is doing some type of magical something and she sees it um and uh she is now a liability so one of the people that goes to the school tries to wipe her memories but instead of wiping her memories it triggers her own magical um powers and she is starting to learn more about herself she knows that something is going on um with the death, the death of her mother and she really wants to figure it out this is also has to do with arthurian legend so i've heard good things really hope that i like it um and this cover is stunning <laughs> all right and then i picked up a um, memoir uh, one that's really been talked about quite a lot and that is Educated by Tara Westover. I have heard so many people talk about this. Um, there are so many people that come into the store looking for this book and um, I know that it has to do with her difficult childhood. Um, her parents were like super into um, like preparing for the end of the world I think and it just following that and her life growing up. It sounds really good. I'm a huge fan of memoirs. I will probably pick up the audiobook for this though. Um, that's how I prefer to listen to memoirs. It just is mo so much more immersive. But her really good things, we'll definitely get around to this sometime soon, just don't know when. All right, and then I picked up a used copy. Um, <laughs> I picked it up from Sharon. She didn't ever read it, so it's practically brand new. But this is one to watch by Kate Stamen London. Um, this has to do with a girl who has been watching like the Bachelorette type shows on TV forever. And um, she feels like she's not seen in that realm because she is fat. And so she just, um, she wants to see more representation of herself on um, these type of so shows. So she sends in a like, something to the network saying, and telling them about not seeing herself on these things. And so she ends up being cast as the Bachelorette. Um, and it's just the story of that and the love story of that. And it sounds really good, very intriguing, something I've definitely not read about in a book before. So really excited for this. <sighs> this next book, tell me why. Tell me why, why did I buy this? Because this, 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 <laughs> why? <laughs> you guys all know what this is about. This is It by Stephen King. Uh, for those of you guys that have watched my channel, no, I don't like horror. I have a huge fear of clowns. <laughs> but my coworker is going to read it, and I was like, well, I want to read it. And she was like, but you don't like clowns. And I'm like, I still want to read it. Um, I didn't get to it in October, but uh, I'm hoping that I can read it at some point in my life. Um, it's huge. It's 1,100 pages, and I'm like, <laughs> somebody send help because <laughs> I need it. <laughs> All right, the next book I have here is Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty. I read Big Little Lies by her two months ago and really, really enjoyed it. So I decided to pick up another one of her books. I, I really wanted to pick up um, The Husband's Secret, but we didn't have any more used copies at the store. So this is what I picked up. Um, this is another like uh, domestic contemporary mystery. No, domestic mystery, mystery thriller, something. You know what I'm trying to say. But um, <laughs> I don't really know what it's about. I know it has to do with guilt and lies and deception. And I'm, I'm totally here for it. <laughs> Okay, and then I picked up a very random adult romance, and that is Would Would Like to Meet. Um, this is by Rachel Winters. I really don't know what this is about. I was honestly pulled in by the cover. I love a really good illustrated cover, and I just couldn't pass it up. It's really cute, um, and I'm hoping that I like it. I have no idea what this is about. Sorry. Okay, the next book that I picked up is Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. Um, I picked this up on a whim. I was watching somebody's booktube video, and they had mentioned it in it. Um, in the video and then I happened to be walking around Walmart and I saw it so I was like eh, I'll pick it up um, I know that it's a romance uh, I don't it's a YA romance I don't really know too much um, about the actual premise of this but I've heard good things that video that I was watching she's talking about it very highly so I decided to pick this up um, I was a little confused though because when I went to go look it up on Goodreads it's called um, My Chemical Hearts or something like that I don't know why they changed the uh, branding or the title of this but if anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. It's also becoming a Amazon original movie. So there you go. <laughs> All right, another book that I picked up is Ties That Tether by Jane. Oh, I don't know how to say that last name. Um, this is about a girl who makes a promise to her dad on his deathbed that she will do whatever she can to keep her Nigerian culture alive. Um, and that also includes marrying a, Niger my, 
a Nigerian. However, um, I believe she ends up meeting a guy named Raphael who is white and um, she doesn't know how to um, really go about this with her family's ties to their culture and um, pulling past that, finding out who she is and um, setting in her own right. Um, it sounded really good. So I'm really hoping that I like it. <clears throat> Another chunky book that I have here is The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. This is all three books in a bind up. Um, it's, it's a thick baby, but it's um, The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. This is a YA contemporary romance with, with a girl, I think her name is Belly. <laughs> Such a weird name. Belly, Connor, and Jeremiah, and it's a tr love triangle classic but um i personally don't mind love triangles if it's done right so i really enjoyed um to all the boys i loved before by her so i wanted to give this a try and it was really cheap for the bind up it was like nine dollars so had to get it <clears throat> all right then we have the last namsara this is by Kristen cicerelli um i really don't know what this is about but i saw the cover and i was completely drawn in uh i haven't heard anybody talk about this i think this is a little bit of an older book maybe um and that's why i haven't heard anything about it but yeah, it was published in 2017, so not a lot of hype on this book in particular, but it looked really good, the cover looks really good, and so I bought it. <laughs> Alright, and then a book that I loved so much, and when I saw this used at the store, I had to grab it, and that is We're Gonna Need More Wine by Gabrielle Union. If you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite books of the year. It is a fantastic memoir about Gabrielle Union's life. Um, there are trigger warnings in this book for very detailed um, experience of rape, as well as um, death, gang violence, um, guns, stuff like that. So if you're not comfortable with things like that, I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you can get past that and really listen to her story, it's fantastic. She makes a lot of jokes. She talks a lot about um, living as a black woman in a predominantly white community and it just had so much heart and value in here that I just, I cannot wait to reread this. It was a fantastic memoir. All right, and then I have... Um, this author's first or second book that just came out recently, but I wanted to pick up her first book, and that is Homegoing by Ya Gossi. Um, I don't really know what this is about, but I've heard really good things, and I figured if I liked one, that I liked the other. I haven't read either one yet, but um, I've heard really good things, and it was it was used, so I was like, eh, why not? <laughs> And I have two poetry collections to talk about. First being um, Brayden's poetry collection, Nightmare and Daydreams. I will leave his information for his channel in the description box below. He published this in October and I did read it this month and I enjoyed it. Um, this is a collection of poems about um, like really dark themes and then some lighter themes. It also has talk about his um, dad in here. Some of the poems in here are really, really, really amazing. Um, so this was awesome. And I also have Katie Wimser's Poems for the End of the World Poetry Collection. This is her second poetry collection that she um, published in October. Again, I will leave her um, YouTube channel in the description box below if you want to go support a fellow booktuber as well as a self-published author. She has two poetry collections out as well as a novel, and then they are all fantastic. I've read everything she's published so far. Um, really, really enjoy this poetry collection as well. Okay, second to last book here, I have Let Me Hear a Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson. Um, this is about um, three friends who, um, the girl, her name is Jasmine, it was her brother who got shot and um, killed, and then his two best friends, they um, are hell-bent on making sure that his legacy and his journey lives on past his life, and so they take his music that he um, recorded and wrote and... Um, is trying to put it out into the world for him to um, get money from that. And basically his legacy of music will live on. I did read this, I gave it a three star, it was okay. It was my favorite book. I definitely recommend it if you're looking to read more books about um, this particular culture. It is set in the 90s and it was, um, it was entertaining to read, but just not my favorite read ever. And I'm glad I'm getting to the end of this video because my voice is shot, but I have um, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is the last book that I will be hauling today, and I saw this used and needed to snag it up. This is um, the first book in a duology. Um, this is on my authors that I want to read in 2020, series that I want to read in 2020, a book that I was so excited and am so excited to get to. Hopefully, I really, really enjoy it as much as some of the other people have. Um, I haven't read any of Lainey Taylor's work yet, but I have high hopes, really hope that I enjoy it. That is the end of this very, very long book haul. I think there was like 40-something books to talk about today, so if you stuck all the way to the end, you were a trooper. You know what? I'm going to start doing that thing where it's like, if you made it to the end of this video, leave an emoji. And so if you made it to the end of this video, leave a star emoji. 
this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to know down below books that you've recently purchased that you're really excited to read. Again, I always love talking with you guys in the comments below. Um, but that is it. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!